Hey everyone, welcome to my garden. And today we got a really exciting episode for you. We're going to be talking about hydroponic cucumbers. Now, this isn't just any cucumber variety. This is a cucumber melon, also known as a moss melon, Mexican gherkin, sour, sour cucumbers. There's many names for this thing. I mean, this leaf right here is only two inches wide, guys. This is a really tiny, compact plant. This is an inch apart. I mean, this thing is small, but don't forget, just because it's small doesn't mean it's not going to pack a punch. Uh, each vine right here could go grow upwards of 7 to 10 feet long, basically, which is why I'm growing it in the trellis here. And as you see, this thing is only about 3 inches high, 2-3 inches high from the plant from the base of the plant to the trellis so this way I could still come down from below get my hands in there control pick the fruit do what I need to do basically and the nutri the nutrients that I'm using for this plant is basically the same nutrients that I use for all my plants when they're in vegetative state which is the two grams of master blend 41838 two grams of calcium nitrate and one gram of Epsom salt and it's really important to be using like a I think a really good fertilizer for your plants especially in like the early stage of growth I think that's why I've had like such success because I really control what my plant is taking and how it's living I control the light system I take care of the lights I take care of the temperature I watch everything I monitor all that so I think maybe that it definitely helps for having big beautiful growth as if we take a quick peek up top as you see up here <laughs> I mean look at this guys it's so beautiful I love coming in here every morning and coming in and ruffling the leaves and smelling everything it just smells so prolifically amazing and if we look at this plant over here back to the cucumbers this thing and you listen to that. I love the noise of cucumber leaves. And this plant is going to be super delicious. It says that even though it's small, it has like a big flavor. It com it pretty much tastes like a cucumber with a hint of like lemon at the end. So it's sort of sour, sort of sweet, kind of pretty. Should be really delicious from what I've heard. I've ha I haven't tried this plant yet. So this will be my first time experiencing what it tastes like and seeing what it really looks like besides from online so I'm really excited to see what this thing is going to be so the way that I'm growing this plant right here is basically going to be in this trellis which is part of my indoor greenhouse and the way that I want to grow it is there's two plants in this container and normally when a lot of people grow they they grow vertically uh, I'm sorry horizontally they grow like left then they go this way and then you go this way now, I don't want to do that because I have two plants in here. I want to split this tray up into two levels, basically. The front half being the first level and the back half being the second level. And the way this plant will grow is the first one will go up. It's going to go up and then back down and then up this way and then back down. This way I have a consistent full level to look at from, from the right side all the way down to the left side. So as time goes by, this section will be completely filled in, then this will be completely filled in, and then soon enough, this entire tray will be filled in by beautiful cucumber leaves. I mean, it's gonna smell amazing here with all, once it starts flowering, and I'm looking forward to eating all these delicious fruits that are to come. I mean, this plant is so beautiful. Let's get a nice close-up shot of it, so you can really see how it grows. I've been helping it out by like wrapping these guy, little guys when they come up and really controlling which way this plant grows. So I mean this is episode one, I mean it's still really early for this plant, this is only a two week old plant, but I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and we're going to be talking about a lot in the future. We'll talk about switching fertilizers once it starts flowering, when to switch the fertilizer, how to, how to um, pollinate the flowers. We'll be talking about a lot of stuff, but for now, let's just take in this beautiful plant. 
And if you like what you see today, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.